the 1960s, the golden age of the world's most extraordinary gentleman spy. His globe-trotting adventures featured such memorable characters as Miss Moneypenny, M, the villainous Emilio Largo, the beautiful Tatiana Romanova, and of course, the suave secret agent himself, played by Connery. Neil Connery. I'm getting a strange feeling of deja vu. By 1967, French and Italian imitations of the James Bond formula were so common that they've been christened with their own subgenre, Eurospy. Airsoft secret agents like 008, 077, and 117 popped up all over the place. Some played it straight, others played it for laughs, but none had quite the audacity of Operation Double 007, which roped in James Bond star Sean Connery's lesser-known brother Neil to play its super spy. Operation Double 007, originally OK Connery, or Operation Kid Brother, follows reluctant spy Dr. Neil Connery, brother of Britain's top agent, who is only coyly referred to, but never by name. You know, the brother of secret agent uh, zero, zero. Yes, so I've heard. Dr. Connery, a plastic surgeon, hypnotist, archer, linguist, lip reader, lieutenant in the British Armed Forces, and occasional physicist, is recruited by the Secret Service to stop an evil criminal organization from detonating an electromagnetic pulse. The first thing Bond fans will notice is that O.K. Connery is a cavalcade of legitimate stars of the 007 franchise. Bernard Lee and Lois Maxwell, M and Miss Moneypenny respectively, have nearly identical roles here. Daniela Bianchi, leading lady of From Russia With Love, plays this film's femme fatale. And Adolfo Selly, the yacht-owning number two of international terrorist organization Spectre in Thunderball, here plays the yacht-owning number two of international terrorist organization Thanatos. But where the casting becomes truly ingenious is in appointing actor Anthony Dawson as Thanatos leader Alpha. That's because Dawson previously played in a completely uncredited role the boss of Spectre, Ernst Stavro Blofeld. Even the marketing plays it cheeky, with Neil's pose imitating his brothers from the poster of contemporary Bond adventure You Only Live Twice, and the film's tagline, Operation Kid Brother is too much for one mother, was a riff on Bond spoof Casino Royale, which claimed Casino Royale is too much for one James Bond. You read too many novels by Fleming. Everything about the film, then, promises a rollicking Ian Fleming-style adventure. And the truly delightful thing is that O.K. Connery delivers exactly that. The story finds Connery globe-hopping from Monte Carlo to Spain to Morocco and finally Germany. There are the requisite spy gadgets, beautiful women, and elaborate secret hideouts. And of course, there are all the familiar faces. The film offers up subtler allusions to James Bond as well. In one scene, for example, the villain watches an image projected onto one of his scantily clad female crew, evoking the title sequences from From Russia With Love and Goldfinger. The music, too, will feel familiar to 007 aficionados. Written by the legendary Ennio Morricone and Bruno Nicolai, the score unmistakably emulates the style of Bond composer John Barry. Incidentally, the title of the film, OK Connery, was actually a bit of an in-joke during Neil's screen test at Chinachitta, in which he had to sing, dance, perform a love scene, and execute a hand-to-hand -hand fight, the producers would say, OK Connery, OK, and the phrase stuck. Unfortunately, fans hoping to hear the signature Connery accent will be disappointed to discover that Brother Neil's voice has been replaced with that of another actor. After production, Neil was hospitalized for an appendectomy, and the producers were worried that he'd be too weak to dub his voice in post-production. Nevertheless, OK Connery is a must-see for any spy movie enthusiast. It's lively, outlandish, and some of the most fun in the Euro Spy collection. Indeed, for the novelty factor alone, it just can't be beat. 
Interestingly, OK Connery was picked up for theatrical distribution by United Artists, the same company that produced the official 007 movies. It's now part of the MGM library, but its only official DVD release to date is the episode of Mystery Science Theater 3000 on which it appeared. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.